Hello guys, it's been a month since our last video, but we're back for another video. Yay! However, in this video, I'm not gonna share any instructional materials or learning activities for your kiddos. Because I'm back to work! Yay! Actually, hindi pa naman back to school. Since galing tayo ng Philippines, kailangan muna nating mag-undergo ng quarantine bago bumalik sa trabaho. But I'm pretty good both negative yung swab test ko sa Philippines at sa Japan. So ngayon, as one of the protocols, kailangan muna natin ng mag-quarantine. Ayan, mag-isa lang ako. So naisipan kong gumawa ng vlog about quarantine. Yes, I need to go a 14 days quarantine or 14 day quarantine. 14 days quarantine, 14 day quarantine. Ano nga ba ang dapat nating gamitin doon sa dalawang yun? So if you want to know and learn, please keep on watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. When do we use the hyphenated phrase and when not to use it? Basically, we have to hyphenate the phrase if it precedes a noun that it is modifying. So, paano nga ba yun? Ganito lang. Let's use this. I have to undergo into 14-day quarantine. Obviously, yung 14-day natin is ang ating hyphenated phrase. At yung quarantine ang ating noun. So, yung 14-day is nagde-describe sa noun natin which is quarantine. In short, yung 14-day phrase natin ang role niya is an adjective to the noun quarantine. Parang tinanong ka kung kamusta ang araw mo. And then you'll answer, I had a tiring day. You use an adjective, tiring, para i-describe yung day mo, which is a noun. Kaya naman natin gagamitin yung walang hyphen. At kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang S. Let's use this sentence. We are required to quarantine for 14 days. Ano ang napapansin nyo dyan? Tama, hindi na magkadikit yung quarantine at yung 14 days. Bakit nga ba? Sa sentence na yan, hindi na din describe ng 14 days yung quarantine. Ang nangyari dyan is, yung 14 na ang nag-describe sa word na days. Our only adjective there is 14 which describes the noun days. So, if I'm gonna ask you what is an adjective, then you'd say, an adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun. Eh bakit naman may S na yung days? So, ganito yan. Since yung 14 ang ating adjective na describe yung noun na days, kailangan natin lagyan ng S kasi yung 14 is more than 1. So, ang plural form ng day is days. So, ayan. Hopefully, di na kayo masyadong malito kung kailan gagamitin yung hyphenated phrase at yung wala. Thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe. Comment down below kung ano yung gusto nyo pag-usapan pa natin sa mga susunod na videos. See you! Bye!